hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well dear friends we are discussing the model question paper of the mathematics subject for csc stream students okay subject code you already know bmat csc01 so in this video we will discuss the model third question number 5c that is in an examination given to students at a large number of different schools the mean grade was 74.5 and standard deviation grade was 8 Okay, at one particular school where 200 students took the examination, the mean grade was 75.9. Discuss the significance of the result at both 5% and 1% level of significance. Uh, on this particular topic, I have also uh, solved varieties of problems. I have provided the link in the description box. You can go through. But this question is a little bit different from those uh, two particular questions. Okay, so now what is given in the question you see here? mean grade was 74.5 in previous uh, what we call lectures uh, we were supposed to calculate the mean over there okay but in this particular question mean is directly given that is 74.5 so you can write here in the solution given data is mu is equal to 74.5 right standard deviation is also given that is 8 so sigma is equal to 8 it is directly given uh, at one particular school now we are choosing the particular school where 200 students took means 200 students means n is equal to 200 whatever the number you are choosing that is 200 students uh, from the particular students are taken the examination uh, the mean grade was 75.9 so observed value is 75.9 so observed value is denoted by x is equal to 75.9 right so this is your x discuss the significance now uh, you know already what is the formula for z z is equal to x minus n p divided by sigma under divided by under root of n it is the another formula which you can use over here just because sigma is directly given okay so what is the x value observed value 75.9 n p means it is also known as mu mu is given by 74.5 okay that is expected value so minus 74.5 divided by sigma sigma is 8 divided by under root of n n means 200 so when i just calculate it i will get the z value so let's calculate it first that is your 75.9 minus 74.5 divided by 8 divided by under root of 200 which is equal to 2.47 okay so 2.47 now we have to check the significance level at 5% and 1%. So at 5% level of significance, level of significance, you know already what is the Z value? Z value should be less than 1.96. It is the standard tabulated value for the Z. Okay. So in this case, 2.47 we are getting that is greater than 1.96. So I can write here 2.47 is greater than 1.96, right? so our hypothesis is rejected our hypothesis is uh, rejected right so this you have to write here okay once it is greater than if it uh, is less if it is coming less than 1.96 then we can say that hypothesis is accepted but here it will be rejected okay for the one percent level at one percent level level of significance 1% level of significance z should be less than 2.58 so see here it is 2.47 it is obviously less than 2.58 so i can write here uh, 2.47 is less than 2.58 so condition is satisfied i can write down poor hypothesis is accepted hypothesis is accepted okay i hope this is clear so now uh, let me tell you dear friends whenever you get these type of questions when you have to check both 5% and 1% level of significance or either they, be, they will give in the examination for one tailored test two tailored tests so no need to worry you have your handbook in the examination you can use those formulas formula, uh, formulas also okay so for one tailored test I can write here for one tailored test if they mention in the examination this one for one tailored test you have to check the uh, significance level okay so for one tailored test z value should be less than plus minus 1.645 okay at 5% level 5% level of significance and also z should be less or less than plus minus 2.33 for 1% level of significance okay this is for one tailored test 
then for two tail test for two tail test okay z should be which we are usually using and we have used these uh, this uh, what we call value in previous problems also that is it should be less than 1.96 z should be less than 2.58 this is the old condition which we have used it so far okay this is your 5% level this is your 1% level okay so this we are usually using and if you want check at this value also the for one tailor test so i can write here what is the z value we are getting uh, see here 2.47 now check it on this condition so obviously 2.47 it is greater than 1.65 i can write here z is greater than 1.645 so also here it is rejected okay hypothesis is rejected hypothesis is rejected right now for this value it should be less than 2.33 that see here z is equal to 2.47 it is less than uh, sorry it is greater than 2.33 it should be less than but it is greater than here z is greater than 2.33 so again hypothesis is rejected for the one tailor test okay so i hope this is clearly understood to you people so this is all about this uh, question number 5c so i think this is too much easy we can easily score from this model also.